In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly enqueue a script in your WordPress functions.php file so it loads properly and it complies with WordPress standards for loading and queued scripts. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, Come back to this tutorial, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is head out to the blog, link down below in the description, copy and paste this script here. Let's copy the whole thing, and we're gonna put this into your functions.php file. Copy all of it, head into file manager, or do this via FTP. Doing this through the WordPress editor is a little hit or miss ever since WordPress 4.9, because it adds more security to discourage people from editing PHP directly in WordPress, which is actually a very good practice. So we're gonna do this via the proper channels in the file manager or via FTP if you prefer that. I'm gonna pop into public underscore HTML and then go to wp-content, themes, find the theme that I'm running. And I don't actually don't know for sure. This is the test site right here. It's gonna go into themes, find out which one I'm running right now. I'm doing the color snap child theme, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna open that. We have our functions file right here. Now, if you don't have a child theme, I highly recommend you make one. If you want to learn how to do that, click on the card that just popped up in the top left, top right side, and you learn how to make a child theme in that tutorial. I'm currently working on a child theme. I'm gonna work on the functions file, which is a very dangerous file to work in, because it's PHP, you put a wrong period or comma or semicolon or the wrong script and your whole site's gonna go down. So it's a very dangerous file to work in if you don't know what you're doing. So what I usually do, or what, that's not true. What I used to do, don't do anymore, but what I encourage everybody else to do if they're not familiar with PHP is make a copy of this functions file, but is right clicking on it, clicking on copy, put it in this folder, call it something like functions dash backup.php. Now we have a backup of the current functions file as it is. Now if you do an update in your functions file, you go to your site, your site goes down, you can either come back and fix what, you, what went wrong, if you know what it is. If you can't figure it out, you can just delete the functions file you're editing, change the name of the backup one back to the regular one like this, and then your site will be back to normal because then you have your original backed up functions file back on there. That's how we do backups. It definitely helps bring down high blood pressure when things go wrong. We're gonna open this functions file by clicking on the edit link here. Now we have our functions. Your functions file may have a lot in it, may have nothing in it. I'm gonna go right to the bottom and paste in, just one second, paste in that code that we copied from the site. And here it is. We're adding a function called enqueue my custom script. It's got the WP enqueue script method. So this first parameter is something you put in there. It's called the handle. And it's gonna be the name of the script and it's mostly descriptive for you. So the script that I'm gonna upload is one called intro JS. So I'm just gonna call it that. It doesn't have to match the name of the script you're uploading. It just has to be something. So here we wanna have the path to the JavaScript file, which I currently do not have. And then the next part is we add action to the WP and Q scripts hook, which is in the header. It's where all the scripts are enqueued, meaning they're all this place there when the site loads. And we are placing this function, this code, which is the one we just created. And that is the entirety of what's going on here. I'm just gonna save these changes, even though this isn't working yet. I'm gonna head back out here. I'm going to upload into the root of my site a JavaScript file, I'm gonna upload intro.js, which is a tour building JavaScript library, which allows you to build tours when people come to your site. The tour basically allows them to navigate through the features of your dashboard or whatever it is you have 
and kind of educates them on how to use it. That's what this script does. I'm just gonna unzip it or extract it. Now we have the intro.js folder here. I'm just gonna change the name to just intro.js. Gonna delete this zip file here. Now this script that I'm using here, I'm gonna have a more detailed video for it later. I'm just gonna show you how to enqueue any kind of JavaScript. This is just my example. But for this script, we wanna be able to enqueue this intro.js. That's what this script needs to have loaded into the header of the site for it to work. So I'm gonna head back into our functions file and the path that we want, I just use absolute paths. So we're on the demo site, just gonna get the path to the domain and then intro.js was the folder and then intro.js was the file. And now this function is gonna load this file into the header of our website. So before I save this, Let's head up to the website. I'm going to view the source. I'm going to search for intro.js and we have zero results. Come back into the functions file, save it, refresh the source, search for the same thing, and now we have an intro.js right here. So that has added that script to line 34 of my site. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.